Whoa, that's so much better. Hello. One or two of you have seen a photograph of Father Christmas and Mrs Christmas with a little dog called Jock. And I did promise that I would tell the story, well, Jock's origin story. You see, it all started one very cold, snowy Christmas Eve. And Father Christmas, well, I was in Glasgow. I was just about to jump down a chimney that belonged to Jennifer and, um, ooh, what was that little boy's name? Jennifer and Jamie, that was their house. They were next to the McCallums. Well, I was just about to jump down their chimney to deliver their presents. when well, I noticed something moving in the shadows in a doorway, which hadn't been there before. And so I peered over the roof, and sure enough, down there was a little tiny nose of a dog, just poking out. It was shivering in the cold, and so I left my presents where they were, slid off the roof and landed in the street. And sure enough, there was Master Jock, a little Scottish terrier. Well, he looked very sorry for himself, and he was lost. He was definitely an orphan. He thought that he might be able to live with the McCallans, but I knew they didn't have dogs and didn't really want any dogs, um, as far as I knew. So I checked my list, because I knew somewhere there was a, a little girl who'd asked me for a dog. And you probably know that Father Christmas doesn't bring livestock on Christmas Eve. But you see, this little girl, well, she'd been asking for a West Highland Terrier all her life, and I knew I remembered her name was Diana, and she was all grown up, and she was still writing to Father Christmas, saying, please, Father Christmas, would you please bring me a doggy one Christmas? And so, having delivered all the presents in Glasgow, I tucked Jock inside my coat, and I've always got a spare sausage or two in my secret pocket. And so, Jock and I travelled. Well, first we went to Crewe, because in Crewe there's a 24-hour pet store. And there I got him a nice blanket, a wonderful new bed, and then we flew on to Shropshire. When we got to Diana's house, well, it was as simple as slipping into the house, putting out Jock's new bed by the fire with his new blanket and a couple, of course, some chews. And then, of course, I left Diana a note saying, thank you so much for writing to me all these, uh, these years and always believing in me. So you can imagine her surprise on Christmas morning when Jock was there to welcome her that Christmas morning. And from that morning to this... Well, I've got a soft spot for Jock, which is why some of you have seen me feeding him sausages on my couch. Well, now you know the story of Jock and Diana. Bless you all, be good, be kind, and have a very Merry Christmas. Ho, 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 ho!